Hello my friends, Stark here. Today is the 22nd of March, 2017. Today I'm selling my 1989 Ford L8000. I've owned this rollback truck since October 2016 and honestly she was always intended as a temporary truck one which I hope to replace with a nicer perhaps newer model but certainly nicer less raggedy around the edges now structurally this truck is in great shape with the exception of some of the portions of the bed little rust in the bed here and there but no rust whatsoever in the frame, suspension, valve box real common to see the valve box rusted badly on rollbacks typically located just behind the rear tires no rust in the battery box very little rust in the cab corners good under there Ford left an air gap there so it doesn't trap water and airs out no moisture trapped this is the extended hood model there's also a short hood you can tell the extended hood at a glance because the headlights are recessed well behind the grill and the models with the long straight six engines had the extended hood gasoline models with V8 engines and also the Caterpillar 3208 diesel I tended to have the short hood too not, uh, not a terribly long engine the Cat 3208 but heavy a little over 1,700 pounds this truck has the Ford 7.8 liter straight six turbo diesel really easy to recognize these Ford 6.6 .6 and 7.8 engines the uh, injection pumps are always on the right side and most big sixes the injection pump is on the left and the turbo is on the right on these the big old Bosch six pipe injection pump is on the right and then the turbocharger over here on the left big old hulking engine but only 7.8 liters not real high on displacement but physically big yeah everything's big on this truck big frame big leaf springs <laughs> I start her up This truck has 344,000 miles, 
but the engine was rebuilt at 300,000 miles. I don't have the documentation, but I believe it. Runs too well not to have been rebuilt. That little tick you can hear is the air compressor. I don't know, can you hear it? Maybe not. I can. Twin diesel filters. Huge starter back here. Massive. Again, just a giant Bosch injection pump. That injection pump is almost the size of a small engine itself. The oil filters down here. Two oil filters, two fuel filters. And here's an oil cooler. The truck has air brakes and therefore it makes sense that the PTO is also air operated. Now this truck has a big old bed. 26 feet long in total but it's arranged somewhat unusual in so far as the forward two feet is static and then the back 24 feet is mobile It's a good truck. I've driven this truck from our location here in Northeast Indiana to Columbus, Indiana, Kalamazoo, Michigan, Brighton, Michigan, Argos, Indiana, Van Wert, Ohio. Yeah. She's been a good truck very reliable. Look how solid everything is. Double framed here up at the front. You can see the shaft rotating from the PTO to the hydraulic oil pump. That's the old-fashioned way of doing it, where there was a... I'll start again. That's kind of the old-fashioned way where there was a bit of a distance between the PTO and the hydraulic pump. And that distance was bridged by a rotating shaft. Most of the modern trucks have the oil pump mated directly to the PTO. Yeah, just a really solid, super strong truck. Just a little rough around the edges. And I want to get something a little more presentable. It doesn't have to be newer. I just want to get something a little nicer in appearance. And the new truck will have a lot to live up to because this, this old girl's been really good. Oh, and before I shut off, this Tulsa winch 
is huge. I don't know what the pulling capacity is, but most rollbacks will be eight to 10,000 pounds. And that's with a half inch cable. This has a five eighths cable. And that, that winch has to be between, I'd say 12 to 15. And I think I'm gonna go the high side. I, I'd say that may be about a 15,000 pound winch. At 26 feet of bed, this is a large rollback truck. And you'll notice the absence of a wheel lift. In my experience, for whatever little that counts for, you're unlikely to see a wheel lift on rollbacks with a bed longer than about 22 feet. You just don't see the wheel lift on trucks with 24, 26 foot beds. I think that's because of the stress that the overhang would place on the wheel lift mechanism. If we take an approximation from the center of the rear wheel to the end of the bed, that's about 10, 12 feet. And on a rollback truck, the frame ends just after the rear suspension hanger. It's cut off. Whereas on a fixed bed or flatbed truck, that frame would extend all the way out to the rear bumper. That frame has to be cut short on a rollback to allow the bed to tilt downwards toward the ground. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Just wanted to say cheery bye to the 1989 Ford L8000. Take care, see you next time.